It's time for a garage band quick jam about loops. It's time for a garage band quick jam about loops. It's time for a Okay, to add a loop to our project, we tap on the loops icon in the top right here, and from here we can add Apple loops, our own audio files, or even music from our own devices library. Audio files can be any compatible file stored on your iCloud drive or any other sharing service supported by the Files app. And if you want more information, check out the link below or above about the Files app. But for now, let's focus on Apple Loops. To search for a loop, we tap in the search box and fill in our search query. Hit the search button and we get the results for our search. To add a loop, simply tap and hold and drag onto a track in our project. We can also search by genre. Let's tap in here, go to genre and tap on funk. And now we can scroll through the results or tap on one of these letters to go directly to that letter. We can preview a sample by tapping. Once again, we can tap and hold and drag to add to our project. Let's have one more sample. This time let's search via the instrument and this time we want a guitar. Once again, scroll to find the sample you want, tap and hold and drag to the project. You may notice that no matter how many bars a loop is, it will fill the entire section length of our track. To turn that off, we tap and go to settings and then turn off looping. And now our two bar sample is back to a two bar loop. GarageBand also automatically tempo and pitch matches each loop so that they sound in tune and in time. If we don't want that to be the case, we tap again, go to settings and turn off follow tempo and pitch. And you'll notice that this loop now extends beyond the two bars. To adjust the speed of a loop, we can go to settings and turn the speed anywhere from one quarter up to four times. Let's make this drum track twice its original speed and hear the difference. We can also reverse a loop by going into settings and tapping on reverse. And finally under settings we can use the transposition option to adjust up or down a number of semitones. And that is it for today's GarageBand Quick Jam. If you have comments, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.